In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this belt animation. That is, it's good for like treadmills or engine belts, just looping around. Um, it's really simple to do. It isn't hard um, because you can't just add a simple rotation keyframe because it's oval. It would just rotate all over the place. So I'm going to show you how to do it in less than eight minutes. So let's get started. So we are here in Blender 3.1.2 and we're just going to click out. We're going to select everything by pressing A, then X, then D. Then we're going to press shift a to add in curve circle so we have a circle here we're going to go to the top down view by pressing seven i'm going to do edit mode by pressing tab then we're going to press these three vertices uh, you want to press shift while pressing them to select multiple one and then press g and then x to move along the x axis and then just move it something like that and you just you can modify it however you want to make the shape of whatever you want to circle around. This is the part. This right here is what is going to be following the path. So now we're going to uh, object mode pressing tab. We're going to press R then Y then type in 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis. Now we're going to add in a cube pressing shift A mesh cube. Scale it down on the Z axis by however thick you want it to be this will be basically the thickness of the belt um, so it really depends because on a treadmill they're like three four millimeters thick on a car they're up to like a centimeter thick just depends on what type of belt and then we want to stretch it along the y-axis by however just enough to make it that it looks like it will cover up the thing um, doesn't have to be perfect of course and then you can scale down the x-axis Let's go down the x-axis to do the width of the belt. So I'll just do mine like that. Then you wanna go to, this is a very important part, so you wanna listen. Um, go into tab, then press control R, and just add in a bunch of loop cuts. Uh, the more loop cuts, the better. Um, I'm just gonna add in probably around 200 or something. But I'm just gonna keep on scrolling up with my wheel. Um, then left click, then right click immediately. Then we're gonna go here to this little menu and I added 185 loop cuts. Not too bad. So then we're gonna get out of edit mode pressing tab. Then we're gonna go to the modifiers tab, add modifier, curve modifier, set the curve as the Bezier curve. It's gonna look very weird. Then set the deform axis to negative Y and it'll look perfect. Now, it, th there's a little problem. It's not really a problem, it's a very minor problem but and it's overlapping a little bit you want to press s and y to scale it on the y-axis then to adjust about it till it meets up so okay we got it like that and now to actually make it rotate is actually very simple you press g then y and even though it doesn't really look like it is but it is rotating around on the bezier curve so right click to bring the origin back so now we're gonna bring this little menu up we're gonna select this to go to the graph editor. And then you wanna press N one in the three viewport. And you press N in the graph editor as well. Um, now you wanna have the belt selected. You wanna have hover your mouse over the Y axis location. You wanna right click, insert single keyframe. Now do not do rotation, just do location. Okay, and we're gonna go here into the graph editor bring it up a little more and go into modifiers tab add modifier generator and then that's basically it will rotate infinity basically now to do the speed is this little right here this x to the power of one thing right here right um so like we can bring this down to point point zero five and it'll rotate very very slowly or we can do it back to one and it will rotate very fast so this controls your speed that is how you do this simple rotation for a belt hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like i really hope that you learned something new have a good day bye